It's important to think about humidity, at least for your instrument's sake. Stringed instruments are made of different types of wood with different grain directions, which means they're susceptible to fluctuations in humidity. What happens is that your instrument's wood expands in humid conditions and contracts in dry conditions. And bluntly put, this is not a good thing for your instrument. If your instrument experiences too much expansion or contraction, you might encounter the following problems. Arching distortion, neck projection problems, strings which are too high or too low, sound posts that are too loose or too tight, open seams, or even major problems such as cracks. Of course, you want to avoid all of these unfortunate consequences because each of these could affect your playing by making your instrument sound off. They could also affect how comfortable you are while playing. In a sense, a lack of or excessive humidity are not the real enemies. The real enemy, the thing that actually hurts the instrument, is a drastic change in the humidity. For example, in the Shar Violin Shop, they try to reach around 35% humidity in the winter to alleviate any differences in humidity experienced by the instrument between indoor and outdoor environments. Some players will talk about an optimal humidity, but if you live in an extremely dry climate, you may do more harm than good by maintaining a 50% humidity only to have the humidity plummet to 10% every time you take the instrument to a venue or a lesson. Your rule of thumb should be the following. Minimize fluctuations in humidity your instrument experiences. Now you might ask, how can I tell what the humidity level is? For outdoor levels, you can check most online weather services. For your home or studio, you can measure it with a wall-mounted hygrometer that's kept in the same room where your instrument is stored. You can also use a smaller hygrometer, but their readings may not be as accurate. The Stretto hygrometer, this one here, is very accurate. Since most climates in North America have severe seasonal temperature and humidity fluctuations, maintaining consistency can be a difficult thing to do. We suggest you practice the following preventative measures to avoid any humidity-related damage to your instrument. Number one, for overly dry climates or times of the year, you can humidify the environment itself in which the instrument is kept for the majority of the time. For instance, you could humidify the room where you keep your instrument during the dry winter months, or dehumidify it during the summer. If you live in a dry climate, such as the Southwest, you could try putting humidifiers into at least the room where you keep your instrument or throughout your home. Most homes require supplementary humidification from a portable humidifier like this one. Or in some cases, you can purchase a humidifier that works by humidifying the entire home through the vents. Now that works great for dry climates, but let's say you live in a very humid climate or it's a particularly humid time of the year. In an environment that's too humid, you can use your air conditioning or dehumidifiers in your instrument room or throughout your home in order to achieve optimal humidity. Number two, there are humidifiers that you can use inside the case or inside your instrument. But there is one caveat. It's important to remember that humidifiers for use inside the case or inside the instrument are only effective when the case is closed. Once the case is opened, all of the humidified air quickly vanishes. These humidifiers can be really good if you're traveling or going to a music festival in the mountains where your instrument might be exposed to a drier climate. Here are some ways to humidify your instrument in its case. You can monitor the humidity and the temperature by checking the gauges in your case, but be careful because these are not always 100% accurate. You can also use a damp it. Be sure to squeeze out any excess water and wipe off the outside before you place it inside. Place it in your F-hole until it's all the way in. Some cases come with a little bottle like this that gradually release humid air into the case. Be sure to close the cap tightly and replace the water every couple of days. You can also use the Stretto system. This part of the Stretto system comes with a hygrometer and thermometer, which is usually more accurate than the gauges in your case. And you can attach it to the lid. The other part of the Stretto system actually releases the humid air. To make it work, wet the moisture bag inside. For more details, please take a look at the user manual. If you have any questions about instrument care and maintenance, please post them in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for watching.